the Minister of Basic Education, Mrs. Anjin Chekha, and the Ambassador of the People's Republic of China in South Africa, Mr. Tian Shezhun, launched the planetarium together with the Cyberno Discovery Center in Newtown, Johannesburg. As part of ongoing educational development partnerships between South African and Chinese governments, particularly in the fields of mathematics, science and technology education, the China Educational Instrument and the Equipment Corporation has graciously donated a planetarium to South Africa as part of the cooperation agreement. In her address, Minister Mochecha summed up the importance of having this planetarium and why it is imperative for our learners to learn more about our solar system and all its inhabitants. We are told that in 1969, when Apollo 10 was being launched, those astronauts said they heard a whistling sound. And I could imagine the fear of a whistling sound in a space where it's yourself and, and the equipment. And unfortunately, the excitement was now taken off to say, no, it was the interference of the machinery. And I really wanted to do the whistling sound, and I wanted to make the whistling sound. Because we would like our kids to really go and explore the possibility of where these whistling sounds and ignore uh, the fact that it's machinery. So don't get to that side. Just go and explore what these whistling sounds were. So we want our kids to learn as much as they can from this planetarium go to all sides of the moon and find who or what are these whistling sounds. <laughs> so as, as, as much as it has been explained as radio waves, but I still want them to go and find out if there is someone or something that can actually sing out there. And that is the first assignment that our kids have to come and tell us when they've gone through this planetarium and tell us about these sounds and these whistling sounds. In the main, we want our learners to learn as much as possible about the celestial bodies, the planets, the stars, the moons, comets, and asteroids. And the importance of learning about this is mainly how they affect our own planet and its inhabitants currently, and how they could affect it in future. And this sums up the importance of this planetarium. And emanating from us agreement, which I think DM, DG, we need to popularize it a lot so that people really understand what is it that uh, we are working on with our counterparts in China. And some of the <coughs> issues involved in the, in the agreement is curriculum development and implementation. We've sent a number of teachers to China, we've received Chinese teachers because, <laughs> like it or not, and that's why I was saying to some of my colleagues to say, it's not only ourselves wasting time. We had to go to, did you, well, what was the school to, is it Gonzo, to go and see the top school in the world? They, so when we went there, they said the Americans were here to come and get the, the, the racing. <laughs> <laughs> so, because international tests of the international tests have become the, the best in the world, right? So we have a curriculum development and implementation program and we've been implementing a number of, of programs with them. And your mathematics, science, and technology education so is also part of the agreements. Again, we'll be going to China in March, in April, and May to really finalize some of the plans that we have. But we have been sending also quite a number of teachers who will see, also learn about the methodology. And our principals are extremely excited around that. Those that have gone there have given an app, they communicate with, amongst themselves, but also with the contacts that they made in China. We'll be doing lots of work on vocational education and training, also it's one <coughs> element which is in the agreement, and also in the areas of research and development to improve our training. So in conclusion, it is important for me to mention that at this stage, this planetarium was shipped to South Africa from China. The China Education Instrument and Equipment Corporation donated this planetarium to South Africa as part of the cooperation agreement. And the Cybernet Discovery Center has explained why we really requested Houghton to host this center. It was, it was because of strategic location in the country. And but also we felt that Cybernet would be the best home for this planetarium. And that's why we did. We had to approach Houghton and bother uh, the CEO to kindly host the planetarium and as much as possible market it to ensure that 
a lot more South African kids outside Gauteng also have access to these uh, celestial bodies and can possibly go home and tell them if they indeed had any singing from these celestial bodies. And uh, I'm really excited. But thank you very much to the Gauteng government, to MEC, to the CEO of Saibona, but in particular, and most, most important, to our colleagues and counterparts from China. Thank you very much for this gift. Okay, I'm now going to call upon uh, Mr. Lane Song, uh, as uh, already introduced, already uh, he's representing uh, Change Affairs, the Republic of China. Today's launching and hangover ceremony is the latest example of such efforts. Second, this sign and education cooperation project marks the friendship between Chinese and the South African people and the continued growth of people-to-people -people exchange between our two countries. Amity between people holds the key to sound relations between countries. As people-to-people -people links between, our, between us continue to expand, we will enjoy ever stronger popular support of our relations. Under the framework of FORCAP, China has offered 55,000 scholarships to Africa and trained 83,000 persons across different sectors. Kharteng is fairly special. Those people in Kharteng will know about uh, the department's 10 strategic pillars, which are assisting us to look at the transformation of education in Kharteng. Two of those pillars. One is to do with curriculum and particularly math, science and technology, and the other is to do with the use of ICT in education. Again, the planetarium is a, a unique and wonderful example of how those two things come together. Uh, how ICT assists us to, to deliver better math, science and technology education, particularly when it comes to this, this topic of astronomy, physics, etc., etc. But I think the other important thing is that this planetarium is not the biggest thing that's happening. It's a symbol of a growing relationship between us and our friends in China. And we're currently involved in a number of other discussions, which are not about today, but, but, but this is just the beginning. So I think this planetarium, as important as it is, is the beginning of something much larger, and we, we really do look forward to developing that relationship and seeing cooperation extending beyond the planetarium into various other fields of education. And so we're very grateful, Minister, that, that you have chosen us uh, and that we, we seriously do undertake to make sure that this planetarium serves as a, a platform for other involvements, as an example of what can be done, and as a benchmark for the whole country in, in looking at the kind of things that we want to do. Math, science, and technology are critical for our development, and if we are to be part of the international community, if we are to be able to fulfill our place in BRICS, we must be able to, have, to deliver a better quality of education and to have school leavers who can take their rightful place in the international community. So we thank you for giving us the opportunity to start the process. We, we, we guarantee you that it won't end here. Thank you very much. The planetarium, which is housed at the Cy Bono Discovery Center in Newtown, was officially opened by the Minister and Ambassador on Monday, the 7th of March, 2016.